A best friend to me is someone who will listen and understand with little communicative efforts to do so. A best friend always knows when something is wrong or if something is hard for you. I'm truly thankful to have so many close friends who would do just that for me, but no one does more than she does. This is my girlfriend, Kimberly. My name's Kimberly. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm Greg's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. And best friend, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Sorry. Yes, that is me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's just get right into it, all right? Okay. What was the hardest thing you had to adapt to during quarantine? I think, like, a lot of other people being at home after developing a sense of independence at school was definitely difficult. I didn't have to, for months on end, abide by anyone else's rules except my own. And trying to do that and be policed even more so than we once were in the midst of a pandemic when our parents think they are the only voice of reason that we have um, was definitely hard. And being away from our chosen family our true support systems of those who surround us that we choose to have in our lives as opposed to those who are already in it um, was was a hard thing to adapt to because it often felt lonely. Here we are, question two. Mm -hmm. I know this one's a tricky subject for you because you're uh, an English major. Mm -hmm. What are your two least favorite words? As I've told you before, it's always a rotating list because I hate different words at different points in time for different reasons. But at the present moment, impactful is oh. gross. I hate it. It's unavoidable, especially in my writing, but it's disgusting. I don't care for it. Um, <laughs> a lexicographer, Corey Stamper, wrote a book called Word by Word about lexicography, and she had a whole section about how much she hates that word. And I agree with her on all points. So I think that's a good reference for anyone who wants to know why I hate it so much. Alternatively, appendages is always gross. Just any word that I can feel and makes me shudder, I don't like. And appendages does that for me. So like, even if someone refers to their arm as an appendage? Don't like it. Just don't say it. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, here's my next question. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could see or visit or meet any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? It could be any art form. Well, as you know, I've studied multiple art forms, so it's kind of an unfair question because those would be different answers depending on what art form, and I don't want to just pick one, so I won't because I don't have to. Point being, for Keep doing it. legacy reasons, Margaret Atwood, she's been incredible on an influence on feminist literature. Um, but for personal reasons, Jeanette Walls, because her writing style very much aligns with mine. And finding her work early on in my personal writing journey was very validating. And I felt supported by her work and her experiences. Do you find that she phrases things similarly to you or that she thinks in a similar way to you? I think she probably thinks in a similar way to me and expresses that in similar ways. Through her writing, I felt that we view the world in very similar ways. And for that reason, I didn't feel like I was alone in my perception of this sometimes terrible reality that we live in. And she takes that and does with it what she can like I think we all do, to try and make the best of it. Final question. Mm -hmm. I know this one is extremely controversial to us, yes. particularly. Personally, it's controversial. But why are shrimp tails so game-changing for you? Like, why you can't just have a shrimp tail on your shrimp? Like, I think anytime you eat a shrimp, you can't just have a tail on it's it? It's worth prefacing that I don't like it in in dishes. If you're gonna make pasta and put shrimp in it, just take the tail off so I can use a utensil and then not have to stop in the middle of eating to use my hands. But if it's like cocktail shrimp that you intentionally eat with your hands, just leave it on. 
But every time we make pasta and you want to add shrimp, I'm like, Greg, just take the tails off. And for some reason, you don't want to, so I do it. It's extra work. It's extra work to do it while you're eating, too, though. So you're not, not saving time. I think we're going to agree to disagree on this. No, we won't. I can be right. Right now. You're the one asking me the question, right? <laughs>